So we tested out our O-rings. And I haven't even had the gun open yet to check them out. So let's do it together. Mail Serp Garage. That's right. Video number three on the Model 58. You know, I really am a big fan of the uh, 870. And this is basically just a semi-automatic 870. It's just an, an 870 converted to uh, operate using gas. And um, all these years, I uh, kind of didn't pay much attention to this shotgun. And I really should have been. So... The cap, okay? The cap, nice and tight. I tell you, I'm learning a couple of things here with this shotgun. So, number one is that that's all you need. I just take like a channel lock, just a little, maybe put something over it, just a little tweak. I'm not talking about go crazy on it, but just a little bit more than what your fingers would be able to do. Because uh, any looseness with this gasket, is what could cause gas to get by. And the gas getting by is what damages it. So it's really important. Even Remington says, I think, let me see. I think I got a, right here, I'll pull this up quickly. The, uh, in the instruction book, there's some pretty cool information here on cleaning and what to do. So it's, there's, you got to pay very, very careful attention to this. Somewhere in this, I mean like freeze frame it and read it. Somewhere in here. It talks about keeping the gas, uh, the holes in the gas plug clean and keeping the gas, the cap tight. You can see these holes have to be super clean, nothing in the way. Use a toothpick, you know what I mean? Push it through there and make sure that they're clean. Oh man, I could uh, cut the tension of the knife here. Let's see. Well, look, at shot good. I did four rounds of trap with it, so uh, see how dirty this gun gets. So this is, a, this is a gun that you definitely need to clean every time. There's, like, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of carbon buildup. So here we go. What are we looking at? Wow, did this, let's see, what's going on here? There's some... Looks like there's some debris. Is this just dirt? Yeah, this is just dirt. Though for a second, maybe it melted. Because here's the thing. I shot four straight rounds with it. You know what I mean? So it got hot. This gun was hot. And I was kind of afraid. Oh, but man, it's, it's perfect. It's mushy. It's not damaged at all. And no upward bulging over here. No cracking. I mean, it is only four rounds. I mean, it probably took, you know, it took a long time for that original one to start cracking and falling apart. But I think this, uh, I think this would work. Let's put it that way. I see how dirty it gets in here. Definitely very important to keep all of this clean. Every time you shoot, if you go and you shoot four rounds, I would. This is the kind of gun I would clean every time I took it to the range. I mean, I use good ammo, and look how dirty it gets. Uh, it just goes to show you. I mean, look at what it's leaving on the table here. Look at this. It's crazy. So um, it just goes to show you how awesome the, uh, you know, the 1100, the whatever revisions they made to make the 1100, that self-cleaning thing that they were talking about. Yeah, this is nice. This worked really good. So uh, let me see. What were my scores? I'm going to pull up one game here. So this one game made it all the way to the fifth station uh, without missing and then uh, blew it. So I was almost there. So uh, I'm not shooting as good with the 58 as I am with uh, with this 1100 that I got that we're going to get back to, like, uh, you know, keeping track of those scores. Uh, my goal this weekend, I want to see... Uh, 
how well I'm doing with that guy. I want to just dial in that one shotgun I said I was going to do, and now here I am shooting this thing. So that didn't last, right? But um, today I shot an 18, a 23, an 18, and a 20 uh, for a 79, which was up one from the 78 I shot with my first day out with it. Um, and uh, had, it had a great time. I... I lo I'm really enjoying going. I'm, I'm changing up when I go to the trap range, too. I'm going during the week after work. Things opened up with me. My schedule changed a little bit where I'm able to make it there. And I, I really enjoy it. There's nobody there. And it's just uh, me and the puller. It's the same puller as last time when I was there with the 58 Brandon. Nice kid. I got a nice, I have a nice time. Um, and uh, perfect perfect two perfect days when i went there with this thing so i'm really enjoying uh, playing with it you know and uh i'm glad that uh, this o-ring seems like it's holding so again i'm still waiting i kind of feel bad for this ebay seller he was such a nice guy i i, I i'm still saying you guys should explore that route um when these things come in i'm going to take a look at those gaskets uh, they're still not in yet i'm going to take a look I'm going to uh, fit one of those in there. I'm going to show how, how they fit everything. And he was really nice. I told him, I said, listen, I'm, I'm doing a video of using an O-ring. I hope you're not upset about it. Uh, I said, it's a little awkward, you know. But uh, he was like, hey, good. Let's, like, you know, like, we should explore every option, right? And uh, he um, he actually said, um, yeah, give mine a good review. Tell me how it's, it would it would make me uh, improve my product, if anything, you know, which was kind of cool for him to say. So we'll see what happens. Um, I was thinking, here's the thing. Probably better off with the square gasket, like from like a replacement part that a guy like this would sell. And I'll tell you why. I think that there's a bunch of different parts. Um, there's two different gasket supposedly and i don't these two rings that i have seem identical as far as gasket fitment so i'm thinking maybe there's other rings that go in there that i don't know about other you know the metal part that go inside the forearm there might be other ones i don't even really know about uh different sizes or different configurations and maybe this gasket i mean i gave you guys a specific gasket size that might work for this gun, but it, it might not work for you. You might have an older one, a newer one. It might have, well, it couldn't be an older one because this is as old as they get. But that ring I'm using is definitely the new ring, the improved one with that top piece on it, that top color on it. So who knows? Maybe uh, may, maybe the O-ring won't fit in every single one. But if you watch my video, my last video, and you use the same process of choosing one and you'll probably be okay um, i matched it up here perfectly to this uh to this exact ring that i have in there and it seals nice you know i could tell and and i did sli i slipped around in there uh into the tube just to see if it would fire semi-automatically and it did so it's uh it's not like it's just firing one at a time and i didn't test it i tested it it's it's working fine and uh feels really good so now it's just longevity, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test the guys' gaskets that come from eBay. The square gaskets. I'm gonna see how those things fit, also. But uh, I think I'll stick with these O-rings for a while, just to see, you know, how long does this last? Is it true that they start coming apart, falling apart? Uh, I doubt it. I think it's gonna last a while, especially because it was a real. I really baked this thing out. I shot four rounds all in a row. This thing was like, I mean. I could have cracked an egg on it. It would have sizzled. That's how hot the gun was. And I couldn't even touch the, the, the gas cap. So it's as hot as it's going to get in there. It was 90 degrees out there today. So it was as hot as it's going to get in that tube. And I don't really see any damage or any melting on this uh, gasket. So I'll leave you with that. It was a success. It was a success. And um, I'm going to update you on the progress after uh, using this for a bunch and we'll do a long-term uh, update to see how that's working and uh, maybe we'll do another video when these square gaskets come in just to be like, ah, oh, that's the safe way to go. I think it's that's it seems like it's working for everybody and this guy seems to know exactly which gasket to supply for which ring you have. So 
maybe that's a better maybe that's just a better option just so you know uh you know that you you go with a sure thing in other words you know so uh enjoy the rest of this game if there's any of it still going on and you all take care Thank you.